if you like to give democracy to people, give them also the food they need, give them the better life they need. Freedom is as important as other things. That charismatic leaders give illusions, they don't give hope. That in the long run, they are going to be the most corrupt people because they are going to have around them corrupt people who are going to benefit from, uh, from this charisma. And then they are going to quell every opposition to them and every po person who is going to p speak of corruption and then there is going to co you are going to construct a sort of megalomania yeah. in the inside the person to say that i am the leader you don't have to speak i am the country i am the country we are living in uh, in a world that tries to get on trying to to quell Totally the middle class. Yeah. You have either a majority of poor or a minority. One person. One, one person. That, that's the, uh, the aim of globalization. The, the, uh, because capitalism for me, uh, and I've seen it in Tunisia, has survived through a big bulk of middle class. Because that's that middle class that avoids any type of of uh, uh, of extremism or any type of uh, it has kept the uh, society a bit in a sort of equilibrium you have to take a decision throughout your life whether you are going to live your life as a doctor or as a professor or whatever you are and the, then you do nothing and you you take care of your children and then you you lead a quieter life in the shade and you go on or you try to be useful to the people around you for at least your children are going to remember you as a person who didn't when you teach them about freedom uh, you, you give them ex the example of, uh, without feeling guilt uh, when, okay, absolutely okay. the problem with social media is that and uh, uh, all, uh, uh, all social media, in fact, that they can be used by those who have the money, like Musk and everybody else. I mean, uh, like, uh, uh, so all these people can be used. And the problem with Facebook now is becoming dangerous is that it puts condition on the way that you are going to use it. For example, you see, for example, for the campaign Free Palestine, there are many restrictions, uh, restrictions yeah. that were censorship that was used, etc. Yeah. So what, what is the answer? Not to only buses, there were many young people who were uh, uh, emulated from them. Now, what you need as political party is to give these people real hope, to say that you are going to... Uh, uh, you are, this is our answer to your problems. And you, the first thing that you give them is that uh, the, uh, the, this charismatic leader you are looking for is the person who is going to generate corruption yeah. uh, inside your country. Because corruption, because why charismatic leader? Uh, in, our, in the history of Tunisia, the history of Egypt, the history of Syria, the history of the Arab world, which I studied very well, these people, these dictators, they gave hope. They say, okay. Set up, we are going to give you food, we are going to give you jobs, etc. But in the long run, what happened is that they made up around them people who were corrupt and who uploaded them, and then they continued the corruption. And in the beginning, they were listening to the people, but by the time, throughout the decades, they are going to listen to the people who are around them, who are really more corrupt than them. So pay attention to this. Uh, charismatic leaders are not really the answer. As democracy is not really alone, is not the answer. And then at the same time, you need to get, give real, concrete answers, real hope to these people. Because what religion gives is this, this illusion sometimes that you give to people, that you are going to, that, to, that you are, that everybody is, uh, uh, who is not a Muslim or is not a Hindu is uh, is an enemy, and then you you are you need and then this is the first step extremism, and then you are you need to kill him because he does not belong to your religion, and then uh, this goes on. But, but if you tolerate people, if you accept your their ideas, if you live them, I live in a family. In my family, my wife is prays five times a day. But we live together. We accept each other. She fasts Ramadan. I do not do. But we live together because there are other fields of understanding that we we could live on. We discuss.
about the future of our children. And I'm happy that in my real life, that my children are also believe, they do believe in this discussion. So that's, that goes, this is a microcosm only, a small thing, but that goes to the country too. If you don't speak with people, if you don't try to convince them, if you don't tolerate their ideas, then you are going to learn. So, the, what really impressed people outside the, uh, the Arab world is that these, uh, these slogans that, uh, that have been there, freedom, liberty, democracy, and social justice. But in fact, social justice comes first. That's why they believe in charismatic leaders. But charismatic leaders are not the answer. But uh, the answer is what? Is that those leaders who have got parties give some type of answer to the people. They say to them, they discuss with them. So what happened during all these uh, uh, these years were after before the, the school of 2021, 20, we were calling me and few people for a national dialogue. And nobody listened to you because they thought the national dialogue well, I'm going to discuss with you, national dialogue. Who are you? You don't belong to a party. But I'm civil society. Okay, civil society, you are talking. But you need a national dialogue. We need a political, a social dialogue. We need uh, competent people to d discuss the economy. We need competent people to discuss the democracy, the civil rights, etc. We need people who are who, who talk to us, who explain to us what is tolerance, what is democracy, what is what is social justice, etc. Because these slogans they are vague unless you try to be concrete. So you need these people. So without a dialogue, without tolerance, without nothing is going to work. Charismatic leaders, and this is my experience, they live uh, uh, you know Gaddafi in Libya was a charismatic leader. Yeah. And uh, his power extended to all Africa. But what is the end? The end is that every dictator is going to fall. Every dictator falls. This is from Saddam Hussein uh, to Gaddafi to Ben Ali in Tunisia to all these dictators are going to fall because they don't have the answer. In the beginning, they give, they are charismatic. Even other, maybe in one year, maybe in six months, maybe in, 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 in two years, maybe it's going to fall. But why? Because he gave the illusion that he's good, that he's a charismatic leader, that he's going to give the answer to people. But then later on, he couldn't give the answer to the people. He made his families around him, his people around, those who applaud him are around him, the army is around him, but they are benefiting from this situation. Not the people, the people are not benefiting from. So the answer now is that we think how we make democracy work and uh, there is absolutely no space for nuanced conversation the type of conversation that we have right now it's so rare and people's attention is shrinking and shrinking and especially with the advent of tiktok in the this short video format people are uh, not even patient enough to watch a 30 second video they'll scroll after two or three seconds and they'll spend the whole day scrolling that thing and people are moving away from the books and moving away from even movies. 20 years ago, I went to France. So I go so often to France. Uh, when I go on the tube, metro, train, you find 80% of young people having a book with them. Book, reading, reading, reading them. In that was 20 years ago. Yeah. 10 years ago also, about 50% of young people, when you get in the metro, you find them reading. Now, Okay. You find 90% of young people not talking to each other, but having their phone and discussing through the and watching videos with their headphones. And you have you try to have a look at these videos, most of them they're superficial, they mean they're nothing. Same thing in Tunisia, you find people, people sit in the cafes, young people in the cafes, they sit for long here in Nepal, I haven't seen cafes, but people there sit in cafes, young people. And you find four people sitting together and each one in uh, taking a Now, the idea of uh, a text to read, this also, this has got to, in, in education, it depends. Education is a very important problem. Education in the family. It's very important that you teach your child to read a book, to sit, because you cannot concentrate. Your concentration on the video is different from your concentration in a text. If you have a society that does not think, it's useless. It's useless. If you have everybody stick to his 
uh, videos, to his ideas, to his, you are not going to have a society. What is, civil, what is the role of civil society is to believe that a humanity, that people in a country or people in other countries, what's the idea of social forums? That although we don't speak the same language, yeah. but we share the same sensitiveness, the same sensibility, the same ideas, the same human values. So you cannot teach someone human values if he's dead to himself, if he's watching futile videos that do not mean anything. What is happening in Palestine does not mean anything to him. Yeah. What is happening in India with castes, etc., with Muslim skin, it does not mean anything to him. Or, or quite the opposite. Sometimes they would say, this is my enemy, kill him. Kill him, this is my enemy. So you cannot, so you need to teach the values. You need to, the spirit of criticism, take distance from things. Because what we have is that people swallow these things without any discussion, without any criticism. They don't criticize. They take this world yeah. them without criticism. We at our age, we, we were taught philosophy, we were taught other subjects, the idea, the tools that you use in order to, to fight for your ideas, to explain your ideas. But now, if you, and this is part of uh, the problems of terrorism, yeah. it is that preachers those who predicate them, those who teach them. You can find a doctor, an engineer, whatever, is taught by somebody who has no education. As I said before, we have to learn from history. If we don't learn from history, then things are, the same mistakes are going to be repeated. What I say for civil society, I think, from my modest experience, is that it should have a, a political vision, for the future also, so that it could help. We are facing a challenging moment in history, challenging moment with populism, with the globalization, with the disappearance of the middle class, with wars, uh, and just wars, with the weakness of international uh, system, and the international values also, such as the UN, such as other, all the other mechanisms are losing their role. So we need to revive this. We need not to despair. We need to keep hope. Hope is going to give us uh, things, tools to, to make, to face all these challenges. Political parties, they need not only to work for their ideas, but to listen to people.